unintended consequences in Meru. Yes. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Is there a crisis in Meru? No crisis. Is there a problem in Meru? Uh, no, no, no. There is a misunderstanding. The working relationship between the county assembly and uh, the executive is not good. I don't know how to engage that one to the extent of the question that you've asked me. We were told yesterday that uh, for Meru to settle down, to have peace and uh, have development, we need to sacrifice one person. I'm still using the words of the council, uh, of the, uh, of the council for, for the county assembly. We need to sacrifice one person who is the cause of the storm. Who is the cause of the storm in Meru? Uh, it's everyone. I'm saying this because uh, the governor in my presence has tried to the uh, best of uh, ability to uh, make sure that the crisis that I mail are handled. So it is, it is everyone, including the governor? Yes. Good. All right. Um, to me, you look like one of the very close people to the governor. Now that you seem to know everything around the governor, the, uh, the meetings she attends and the people she meets, and possibly her confidence, the inner circle, is that true? Yes, it's true. It is true. So if this uh, uh, select committee of the Senate finds the governor culpable of the charges that are uh, before before us, you would also admit that you have failed in your duty as one of the advisors of the of, of the governor. Uh, on this question, I want to say I'm part of those people that have tried to mediate in my level. I'm talking about uh, not even to mediate. I'm talking about handling the governor. The governor's handlers. Does the governor has an advisory council or an advisory team, which I want to believe you must be part of? Yes, it is, it is there. It is there? Yes. So if this, uh, if we uphold the impeachment uh, motion, you will have let Meru down. Yes. You will be among the people who have let Meru down. On this question, I want to say categorically that we, those that are with the governor. We've tried our best. Governor has complied with all our, uh, 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 our requests for her. Governor has also complied with the requests for those that are outside. For example, she 100% complied with the request from the Council of Governors and uh, allowed the MCAs well, now to friend, come down. Gatobu, we, we are here and Kenya is watching. We want to solve the problem in Meru. Yes. Would you say that the governor is a difficult person to deal with? She is not. <laughs> would, would you say that uh, because all other leaders have been unable to work with her, what would you then say is a problem? Uh, is it you, the advisors? Is it uh, the, the, the spouse? Is it uh, the governor, Kawera, the person? We need to get the problem in Meru. Uh, the major problem that we have in Meru is the one that you mentioned. I want to be very clear on this. When you give a demand to the governor that is not tenable. For example, the MCAs have said categorically, and that's why we are able to bring even the videos that are outside this motion, because we felt that is, that is where the major problem Mr. is. Mr. Gatobu, you're not being honest. Because we have watched videos here of roadside declarations, of, of, of uh, um, you know, uh, things that ordinarily a leader may not be expected of. So would you, would you tell us you are the one advising the governor to make roadside declarations, to, to, to do employment in the streets, to shout at every leader, to attack the church? Uh, in my own assessment, I want to say, and that's what I want to repeat, 
the problem that is in email. To be very sincere from the bottom of my heart is not what is contained in the Meru County. Chair, yes, my case.